When armature testing is being performed with the ZTX, the communications cable must first be connected to the host unit. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to connect your high voltage leads from the AWA or from your DX to the AT101 ZTX armature test accessory. Okay, so the first thing we'd like to do is connect the black ground lead to the left bar here labeled ground lead, lead two, lead three. So that's the connection. We're just going to clip that onto that post. And then we're also going to grab lead three and connect it and lead two as well. Maybe your leads are labeled one, two, and three. And then test lead one, where the active voltage is going to come through, will connect to test lead one bar over here like that. All right, so we'll be conducting an armature a bar to bar search test with the ZTX accessory. Um, we went, we want to select the surge test setup button by selecting that. And then here we need to select the armature test feature, checking that box. Then we'll change the screen to the armature test, surge test armature screen. Uh, we want to select the appropriate target voltage, in this case 400. Set your volts per division and your microseconds per division um, as desired for the circuit under test. You select the appropriate hardware. So we're using a ZTX, we'll select the AT101 ZTX. If we were using a power pack that was capable of testing armatures, we'd select the power pack uh, feature. Also want to set the uh, EAR limit uh, appropriately to indicate uh, a failed test. Okay. And so to initiate the test, we're going to push the test button. Uh, make sure our knob is at the minimum position to start the test. And then we'll uh, increase the voltage manually until we achieve the desired test voltage. In this case, 400 volts. Once the test voltage is achieved, you can stop ramping and release the test button. Ensuring you have a stable wave, of course. Um, once you've once, if you're satisfied with the wave, you want to hit that set reference button and we'll have a warning that will uh, let us know we're about to disable the, the critical safety feature of your instrument and so that any time we hit the test button, the voltage is going to go right back up to our test voltage. And of course, we want, we want to do that for armature testing only. Click yes to accept that. And now I'm ready to move on to the adjacent bar, hit the test button again. And now the voltage is automatically going to come right back up to 400 volts. Um, and I just keep, continue to move around the armature from bar to bar. And we make uh, waveform comparisons. In the lower left-hand corner, we have the pulse-to-pulse -pulse AR graph that's giving us a bar to indicate the difference in pattern from one test, one bar test to the next bar test. And so here we can see the variation in uh, the AR that's occurring. Yeah. If, there, if there's a particular wave pattern we want to save, uh, we want to click this. We want to click the save button before we do the next test. Okay. So if I'm interested in this wave pattern, as you release the test button. Then you want to click the save button and that'll save that particular bar number and then it'll save that waveform. You can save up to three additional waves um, above the, the set reference wave that we've also saved. So there's a distinct wave difference and I'll save that one as well. Yeah, so the bar, bar is, um, auto advances with each test. If for some reason there's, an, there's a problem and you need to back up, you could click the down button and it would back up that, it'll reverse that bar control number. I'm just going to back up the, the number. Now we went back from, we went, from, we would be on 15 now, but I'm going to redo 14 and hit the button again and it'll just override uh, that last wave pattern. Save it. Oh, we'll do the final, save the last bar there, close the tester screen, and then hit the save results. And then you can go back to your data and you can view all the waveforms that you saved as well as the different. Um, if you want to include the reference as a comparison as well. And on the bottom here we have the reference versus the test EAR rep, uh, percentage.